Hello, welcome to next ale degustation. This time I have a beer from Oakham Ales Inferno Blonde Ale. Uh, clean, fresh, and hoppy. 4.4% ABV. The cask version is 4%. Uh, hopped with Sterling, Amarillo, Cascade, Centennial, and Chinook. Okay, good. Uh, cup, just um, Brewer's logo, Oakham Ales Comb. And what they say, uh, Oakham Brewing Team have been visiting the USA hop fields for many years in search uh, of uh, best quality hops. Inferno's unique flavor comes from the five carefully selected hop varieties from the Yakima Valley. And like I said before, Sterling Camarillo, Centennial Cascade and Chinook. A light golden beer with a big personality, bursting with fruity hop flavors, citrus notes and refreshing finish. Uh, ingredients, water, malted barley hop seed. Good. Mm. Peterborough, they are from Peterborough. Okay, let's open it. So we have a rather session beer, 4.4%. Uh, yeah, pale straw color, looks like. Yeah, clear. Head, not very impressive. Uh, medium and big bubbles. Maybe on on the bottom there are some small ones, uh, but so far it doesn't look bad. Uh, it, it is a quite uh, nice uh, carbonation going up, uh, so it's, it's pleasing. Uh, yeah, aroma. Oh yeah, it's quite fruity, definitely. Uh, some herbal notes, but uh, it's really fruity, malty. Caramel. Yeah, definitely caramely. Okay, let's have a try. Hmm, quite bitter. With some citrusy accents. Yeah, so we have uh, like two layers. Uh, first impression is fresh zesty citrusy beer and then comes almost immediately bitterness which is grapefruity yes uh, bitterness is short uh, so yeah quite pleasant but it leaves um, a little bit aftertaste and aftertaste it is grapefruity, but more, also more herbal. Um, yeah, almost metallic, um, but rather herbal. And the aftertaste stays quite long. Hmm. Uh, but still it's quite refreshing, you know, drinkable, uh, almost juicy beer uh, to start uh, off. So yeah, it's pretty nice, uh, sessionable beer, uh, definitely refreshing. Uh, well, but I would not say that it's bursting with, with flavors. It, it is exaggeration. Yeah, quite fruity. Mm. It's rather dry. You know, from the aroma, you would you would think there's more caramel. It's more sweet. No, it's rather dry, especially when the bitterness come. Uh, it's quite bitter, and you will just forget about all, all maltiness and juiciness. Just bitterness takes over everything. It's nice. Um, well. Nice little beer, but I would not say it's bursting with flavors. Bitterness definitely is um, good. Um, 
some fresh uh, citrusy accents are good but it is a little bit of dissonance between uh, aroma and taste but still it's okay but it's rather delicate you know the, uh, I think it's just produced for mass um, consumer right so you have a nice bitterness uh, nice welcoming aroma but it doesn't really work together right it's not the same aroma and taste are almost completely different there are some nice accents that are in both areas but not many and like you see it's quite gassy I hope you enjoyed this video well as I enjoyed this beer please like it please subscribe my channel and when you've done it already hit the notification button in the shape of the bell it will remind you about every new video on the channel so you'll be up to date uh, so you will not miss any new LDX stations cheers